Hi everyone, I'm Irma and if you're here, you already know that in order to build a website in WordPress, you need a theme and it is what determines the style and the layout of your website. So in this video, I'll show you how to install a theme and how to customize it afterwards. There are two ways you can install a theme in WordPress. First is through the WordPress theme directory and second is via a zip file that you downloaded outside of WordPress. So first things first, log into your WordPress admin panel, go to appearance and then themes. What you see here are the WordPress default themes, your active theme and the themes you've got installed before. So to add a new one, obviously let's go to add new and we're in the WordPress theme directory. So you can browse through these to the featured popular latest, but a tip, go to the feature filter. Here you can apply filters and the search will be faster and easier and you'll find the theme with the things you actually need because there are so many out there, so many. So try this. All right, let's choose a theme and now click on the install button. All the themes here are free, they're safe and they've passed all the WordPress requirements for a theme. So this is a really trustworthy place to look for a theme. All right, our theme has installed. So now let's click on activate. That's it. The theme is active now. Wasn't that simple? And actually it doesn't get much more difficult with the zip file too. And speaking of the zip file, I have one on my computer already. So let's do this. The first steps are the same as before. Go to appearance, then themes, add new, and now click on upload theme. What you can do here is click on choose file, and find your theme or as I'm doing here, I'm going to drag my, my zip file here on the choose file box. Install now and now on activate. That's it, it's active. But let's not stop there. I'm going to show you how you can customize the theme. So we have the visual composer starter theme here. You can click on customize here clicking on this button or again, you can go to appearance and then customize. What you see here are the options for this particular theme. The thing is, the options differ greatly for themes because it all depends on what the theme developer wants to include. So for the visual composer starter theme, for example, you can change fonts and font styles. So you can choose any font family for the headings and um, Another thing you can do is, for example, set a background image, disable the theme header or featured image. It's all up to you. But let's say the theme you've chosen is not as flexible as you want it to be. For example, you want to make your own header and not choose the theme default. I have a solution for that and you guess it, it's Visual Composer. For headers and footers, the thing you can do is go to Visual Composer, then Settings, and the Headers and Footers tab. What you see here, you can leave the theme default header and footer, or you can apply a custom header and footer you've built in Visual Composer, and you can apply it to the whole site or to each post type. That's pretty cool. And if you don't want to use the theme default layout, for example, you can do that as well. Simply add a new page with Visual Composer. And you can see that we have some options here. You can choose a completely blank page. You can choose a layout with a header and footer, header, footer and sidebar. And of course, you can leave the theme default as well. All right. I think we've covered everything. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.